free money that's going to grow into more money later? Well, that's what an employer-sponsored retirement account such as in 401k or 403b tends to do. And I'm going to break down exactly what a 401k and a 403b is. Hi, I'm Shane of The Well 5 and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. 157,000 people in the United States have become millionaires. Yes, millionaires because of their 401k or 403b. And I'm going to break down how you can win with this money making move by investing in your 401k or 403b. But before we get into the video, drop a money bag emoji into the comment section so that I know that you are here and ready to learn how to win with free money that's going to grow into more money later. So what is an employer sponsored retirement account? Well, I'm pretty sure you've heard of a 401k or 403b and you might have heard about it because of your job because your job might actually offer this to you. So here are the three important things that you should know about a 401k or a 403b. Well, the first thing is that it's an employer-sponsored retirement account. It's an account that's set aside for retirement funds that is given to you and sponsored by your employer. And you can put money in that account to invest that money into stocks, mutual funds, and other types of investments. The second thing that you should know about a retirement account is that it has tax advantages. You can actually pay less money in taxes because you put money into a 401k or a 403b. The third thing that you should know about an employer-sponsored retirement account, such as a 401k or 403b, is that it typically comes with an employer match. So that's the free money that I was talking about. Now that I've got your attention with the free money, you probably wanna know how do these accounts work? So I've already mentioned that there are two different types of employer-sponsored accounts. So you have your 401k and then the 403b. So the 401k is typically for for-profit companies. And then the 403b is typically for nonprofit or government organizations. And then those two accounts come in two different versions. So you have your traditional version and then your Roth version. And what that really means is that one is pre-tax and then one is post-tax. So the Roth is the post-tax version. And when you contribute to a Roth 401k or 403b, that means that any money that you contribute actually is contributed with after-tax money. But any money that your employer contributes actually gets contributed pre-tax. So that's how those accounts work general. You might be wondering how much money can you contribute to an employer sponsored retirement account such as a 401k or 403b? Well, those limits are actually determined by the year and also by your age. So there is a max amount of money that you can, can contribute every single year. And you would want to Google what that amount is depending on when you are watching this video. So my suggestion is to type in 401k or 403b in the word contribution limits followed by the year so that you can find out what the contribution limit is for this particular year because the government does tend to increase that limit every few years by $500 or $1,000 or so. So you want to make sure that you're up to date on what the current limit is. And then if you are over the age of 50, you can actually contribute a little bit more money. So that's called a catch up contribution. So they're giving you the opportunity to catch up and add more money that you might need in order to live during your retirement. And that only applies if you are over the age of 50. You may be wondering how do you even contribute to an employer sponsored retirement account such as a 403B or 401K? Well, you can do that in two different ways. You can either do that through automatic contributions or elective contributions. 
So an automatic contribution really means that your employer is saying that whenever we pay you, you have to contribute a certain amount of your paycheck, whether a fixed dollar amount or percentage to your 401k. And they might be doing that because of discrimination tests that the IRS have, which means that they want the entire employee, you know, workforce at that company to have an equal chance to be able to contribute to 401k. But they also might be doing that just to increase participation. And it's actually been said that this is really good for helping people to save money towards retirement because you don't even miss the money when it's automatically coming out of your account. Kind of similar to how taxes come out of your account and you never ever count that in your budget or you know your savings plans or anything about like that because you just don't ever think about it because you never see it. So that's the automatic contribution. Now the elected contributions are you saying, hey employer, I want to contribute money to my 401k, please sign me up for the plan. So you actually have to sign some forms through your HR department typically and ask them for you to be enrolled into the, the 401k or 403b employer sponsored retirement account. So those are the two different ways that you can contribute, but it always comes from your paycheck. You can't put money that you might already have in your savings account or maybe into your investment accounts or anything else or for your mom or dad. You can't borrow money <laughs> from anywhere other than your paycheck to be able to contribute to your employer sponsored retirement account. Here's the part that you really wanted to know about, the free money. And I don't blame you because this is where it gets sweet. So the free money is also known as a match an employer sponsored match. And this can be offered to you no matter what type of employer sponsored retirement account you have, whether it be a 401k or a 403b. You can get an employer match. However, it is up to the discretion of your employer whether they want to offer a matching program. Because sometimes they might just offer a 401k or a 403b without any matching. However, some really good companies do offer a matching program and what that means for you is that you get free money okay there are two things that you need to know about the employer match and you can think about it in terms of the percentage of your contribution which is the amount that your employer is basing their contribution on the second part of the match that you need to keep in mind is the rate of your employer's contribution so in simple terms some employers can choose to match 100% of what you contribute, they will give 100% of that. So that's called a one-to-one -one match. However, there are other more fancy types of matches where they'll contribute 25% of whatever you contribute or 50% of whatever you contribute. So those are called partial matches. And then you also have something called like a graduated match where after you've contributed maybe like 2%, then they'll increase their contribution to 50%. And after you contribute another 4%, they'll raise their contribution to 75%. And that's really fancy and really complicated, but you do need to understand so that you know exactly how much free money your employer is giving you. Are they giving you 100% of however much you contribute? Or are they giving you some of what you contribute? If you've been wondering if there's some type of patch related to this free money or the match that your employer is giving to the money that you contribute to your employer sponsored retirement account, you might be right because it really just depends on the company. So this is called vesting. So vesting really just means how long before you own the money that your employer contributes to your retirement account. So let's do a little example here. Let's say your salary is $100,000 and you can contribute 5% and then your employer will match 100% of your contributions. So that means if you put in $5,000 into your retirement account, then your employer will add an extra $5,000. So they will actually put the money into your account, but they might say, you know what? 
although we're putting money into your account you don't own all of that money yet and they might have a schedule for which they will give you the money either all at once or incrementally so some companies might say after three years of working here you will get 100 percent of the money that we have been contributing into your accounts you will fully own all of that money now other companies might say that gradually you will start to own a little bit of that money over time until you own all of it so they might say after you've worked here for a year you own 50 percent of it and then after you've worked here for two years you own 75 percent and then on year three you own 100 percent of it and it really just depends on your employer and what type of schedule they want to put in place. But now some really good companies actually do immediate vesting, meaning as soon as you start the program and put money into your employer sponsored account, the money that they contribute is also your money 100% from day one. Earlier I talked about how an employer sponsored account will give you free money that will grow into more money later. So how does the money grow into more money later? That really comes from investing the money that you contribute into the 401k or 403b. So how this works is typically your employer sponsor account is managed by some type of financial services group, advisor or brokerage. And then they give you certain options for investing that money. So they might have mutual funds, stocks, bonds, REITs, all types of things that you can invest your money in. Because the money in a 401k actually just goes into an account and then you can choose to take the money from that account and then invest it in any of those ways that I just mentioned, such as the mutual fund, stocks, bonds, whatever that brokerage company, company offers to your employer. And so you can choose to invest it in those types of ways. One thing that you want to consider when you are thinking about investing the money that you or your employer has contributed to your employer sponsored retirement account, such as your 401k or 403b, is the expense ratio. And so essentially what that means is how much money are the managers of this fund that you are investing in, how much money are they charging you to manage the buying and selling of stocks within your account and the lower that is that means that you can actually pay less money and keep more of the money that you are making through investment i've covered all the basics about employer sponsored retirement accounts such as 401ks and 403bs and now you might be wondering okay when should i actually contribute this money like how should i prioritize putting money into this account versus maybe putting money into your savings account or anything else. And so there are two things that you should think about. You should think about whether there is an employer match, aka are they giving you free money, or you have to think about tax advantages. Do you need any tax breaks? So if you have an employer match, you want to at least try to contribute as much money that you need to in order to get an employer match. Because as I said, that's free money. And then once you've done that, you can maybe decide to do other things with your money. Now, if you are making a lot of money, either from that job or other sources, you might also consider the advantages of getting some tax breaks through your employer sponsored account. And so you might decide to increase the amount that you're contributing to your 401k or 403b even past the employer match amount so that way you're maxing out for that contribution limit for that particular year so those are two things that you should think about when deciding when and how much you should be contributing to your employer sponsored accounts I talked a whole lot about employer sponsored retirement accounts, but there is another type of retirement account that actually might even be a little bit better for you that you might wanna check out called an IRA. And you can find out more about IRAs in this video right here, but make sure that you're subscribed so that you're able to catch more of my videos. And I appreciate you for watching, but I'll catch you in the next one.